All right, let's take a look at what my next project is going to be. This is our unused garden, vegetable garden out here. Uh, we have neglected it the last few years because we've been traveling so much. We need to revamp that. And also just to the side of it, there's the play set that just doesn't get used anymore. It's not quite 30 years old and it's in the condition that it's kind of questionable whether or not anybody should be playing on it anyway. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismantle that except for the swing set. Then I'm going to expand that garden plot and I'm going to add some raised beds and some fencing and some trellises and some obelisks and pretty much make it into a rustic type garden to grow vegetables in again. And I'm gonna to try to use material that I have around here in the woods behind there would be a lot of material back there that I can make some use out of either in the, the mounds or the, the raised beds and also to uh, use a lot of the branches as bits and pieces of the fencing and other things that I've already noted. And I have so, to attack this bugger and take it apart and salvage the wood that's salvageable and then go from there. I'm gonna show you this. See that spot right down in there? Get my finger out of the way so it can focus again. get you a view right straight at the hole. There it is. See the lookouts hanging out at the hole? I'm uh, putting myself at risk getting even this close because they're coming right past in my ears and my elbows. Ah! To and from this thing. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm pushing my luck standing here, but look at that. That is the entrance to a ground hive right next to the play set. This is why I eat so much ice cream. I'm always using these pails or something. Gotta keep them coming. Got the socket set up here with six extensions. It gets me a good distance out, <laughs> but I'm still thinking that the, the hammer drill action on that post that's right on top of their hive might get them angry. So I'm going to have to be watching real close. From here there's a lot of activity going on. Yeah, there's a, a massive hive under there. All right, I'm going to be watching for any sign of having angered that ground hive. You can see them coming and going right off the base of that. There's a lag screw holding an anchor there right at the base of this and this. And I need to disconnect them before I can topple this thing back that way and get it clear of that wasp nest that's right underneath the edge of it. This big breaker bar give me more leverage and it's less likely to irritate the wasp. See that broke it loose. I should be able to pull it out of there with this. Ooh. There we go. 
good it snapped it off. All right, that one came out easily. Look at that, they're, they're completely swarming around here. That's interesting. All right, I'm gonna get out of here because they're buzzing around my head. And Mom's trying to make it across the yard without me. So for today, what I wanna do is first, Avoid getting stung. And I want to get that four-wheeler out of there. Disconnect the winch and back that away. And I guess load up some of this stuff into the trailer. Open is that if I take out enough boards, take off enough boards, it might lighten it up enough that I can just pull it further away from that hive to finish up. And you can see how heavy this thing is. Hey, I'm going to try to roll. <laughs> so 
So why don't I go get the four-wheeler and just pull it over? Seems like a legit question. I don't know, this just seems like a lot more fun, doesn't it? Especially with angry wife right at my elbow. What could possibly go wrong? Too easy. Oh, we're gaining on it. I think we're rolling this over one more. That was a good idea. Well, not quite as freaked out by my presence and my pounding. And I'm glad for a little bit of cloud cover today. It's brutal out here. that my crowbar is bent. The story behind that, I bent that. It's that adrenaline thing you hear about. Yeah, I should tell you the story of my bent crowbar. And this is not a cheap one. This is made in the USA. fun. Next thing to go is this little deck here that was sized for a 10 foot round kiddie pool that used to be pretty popular in the summertime a couple decades ago. There's part of the lumber, other parts in that trailer over there. I'm going to stack this wood somewhere out of the way. I'm probably going to reuse a lot of it when I start redoing the garden area over here. Let's see what's useful and what's not. I inspected it. I just Taking out all the fasteners so I don't hurt myself on them. So, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. PFO Channel out.